All right. Now here is another point that many people have issues with, which is the p value. First point I'll make is what do you think the p stands for? P stands for probability. Okay. Now the p value is the smallest level of significance at which the null hypothesis can be rejected. So is the level of significance also a probability? Yes. It is because it's it's either 0.1 or 0.05 or 0.025. So it's also a probability. Now here I'll I'll give this to you in a very simple way. P value is analogous to the test statistic. So what does that mean? If you think about the test statistic, where do you get the test statistic from? The test statistic is x bar minus the hypothesized value over standard error. Now, given that you are generally after the alternate hypothesis, which means that you want to reject the null hypothesis, would you like your t-stat to be high or low? Generally, you want to reject the null and accept the alternate. So, would you like t-stat to be high or low? You would like t-stat to be high, right? Now, think about a hypothesis test where your critical value is, let's say, 1.65. All right. Now, to reject the null, what does your t-stat need to be? Greater than 1.65. So, notice 1.65 means a probability of how much? So 1.65 means a probability in here in the right tail of 0.05. So one way of rejecting the null hypothesis is to say that the t value or the t stat is greater than 1.65. Are you with me on that? Okay. Now another way of looking at this is the following: the higher the t stat, the lower the p value. Let's say that you come up with a t stat equal to two, and I'm going to change colors now. So, so if t stat is two, can you reject the null? So, if your t stat is over here at two, you can reject the null. The p value is the probability to the right of that t stat. It gets smaller. So. If t stat is big, what happens to p value? Goes down, right? So then the way you can think of it is, so is if t stat is big, then p value is automatically small. So is a small p value good? Just like big t value or big t stat or high t stat is good, just the same way a small p value is good. They are the same thing. Are you with me? Okay, now. Another way of putting this: How do you reject the null? You reject the null by saying t stat is greater than critical value. Similarly, you can reject the null by saying p value is less than the significance. All right. So just remember that you can reject the null by saying p stat is greater than critical value, or equivalently, you can reject the null by saying. The p value is less than significance level. You can reject the null. If you found this lecture helpful, then I'll be very grateful if you can do three things for me. Number one, like this video. Number two, like my Facebook page. And number three, visit analystforum.com and there add my logo to your studying with profile. You can see this slide for help on how to do that. Thank you very much, and good luck with your studies.